Well, well, well. Welcome to another Bimmer Club Sport video. This one's going to be interesting for a little while. So, for those of you who watched um, some of my past videos, you will know that on a cold start, this car can have what we call a hydraulic lifter tick. So I have a hydraulic lifter somewhere in amongst the 24 that lie inside there. And on a morning, they can, one of them can tick and just, it'll just maybe, most of the time it just goes tick, 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 and then it goes away. Sometimes it'll go on for up to about 30 seconds. And if I want to get rid of it, I have to just give a little bit of revs on the engine and it pumps the oil up to the top of the engine and it goes away. Some days I can even start the car and there's no ticking at all. Now, I just happened to come across a video, by coincidence, um, on YouTube about a claim that was made about how to cure the hydraulic lifter tick. Okay, well, it doesn't cost me anything to have a look, let's take a look. So on this video, which I'm going to link in the video description, um, because that way, if this works, the guy's a hero. If it doesn't work, well, then you'll know. Um, and he he seems to be very adamant um, that this is an, uh, an all but guaranteed fix um, for the hydraulic lifter clicking. No fluids, no additives required, nothing. I'm just wandering around the car while I'm doing this. And... I thought, yeah, okay, what's this miracle tonic? Because it's like, it isn't, it's like, you know, Dr. Schnappenhauser's miracle tonic, you know, they used to sell way back then that cure everything. And I thought, okay, so I don't need to have my lifters replaced. I don't need to put any of this uh, treatment in that I was going to put in later, uh, these three tins. Um, we have one, one for the petrol. One for the oil before you change it, and then when you change it, we have another one after that. So, um, so okay, I don't need to use those. And the video is about 10 minutes long, and I mean, he reiterated a lot of times, a lot of things were repeated in that video, mainly the word free, as of, I don't know what he means, it's a free fix. Uh, I suppose it means you don't need to buy anything. Um, but he seemed very adamant that this was going to fix your issue and that would be it uh, It was done on a different BMW, but I think this would probably relate to all vehicles BMW or not So what was this miracle fix well the miracle fix is To start your engine now. I, I didn't know whether to do this on a cold engine So I thought I probably better not so I drove the car for say 10 minutes up the road, the oil was up to temperature. I pulled into a lay-by and I did this. And his claim, which we've yet to find out, was rev the car up in neutral, obviously, rev the car up to 3,000 revs and hold it there for two minutes. Okay, so at this lay-by on the side of this road, I revved it up to 3000, I made sure it didn't dip under, so it may have gone a little bit over, but it didn't go under, and I held it there for two minutes using a stopwatch. Right, okay, that was 24 hours ago. Since then, the car's been parked here in this garage, in my garage overnight, it's quite cold in here, it's quite cold outside actually. Uh, so this is definitely going to be the cold start in the morning. So, two things are gonna happen here. One, it's going to click as normal and nothing will have changed, which is what I'm predicting. Um, count, count, which is contrary to his claim. Or two, there's going to be no lifter tick at all. Now, I might put down, that down to coincidence because, as I did say, sometimes it doesn't tick. In which case, what we'll do is we'll do this self-same test tomorrow morning 
and we'll restart the car tomorrow morning and see if it ticks then. If it doesn't tick twice in a row, I'm going to hold out a bit of hope and maybe maybe the lifter will either be sorted or it won't tick for a few weeks and we'll see. So, if it doesn't work, I'm only going to start the car the once. If it ticks, there's no point doing it tomorrow. So what I'll do is, I'll make sure there's enough time left at the end of this video so to keep you guessing as to, have I just talked? <laughs> so, did I start the car and it ticks as normal and I've just talked my way to the end or have I got a second start of the car in? Okay, let's go. Let's start it up. In my book, I think this is going to just tick as normal. I don't see this as being, as much as he asserted it, I don't see this being a miracle fix. So we have cold oil, okay, so it's not all nice and liquidy, and that's a perfect time for the hydraulic lifter to be sticking again. But he reckons that two minutes at 3,000 revs is a way to bleed the, inject, uh, bleed the, the lifters, whatever that is, and that this was some kind of cure that other mechanics didn't want you to know. I'm just going to put the window down. Yeah, that was a thing he made out as well, but nobody else wanted you to know this fix, but he was going to tell you. It does sound like Dr. Schnappenhauser's Miracle Tonic, doesn't it? Mm. Oh, damn radio. I don't know least how this is meant to be programmed. Okay. Are we ready? Tick or no tick, guys. Place your bets. Ready? I'm going to say tick. Let's go. No way. No way. No tick. No tick. Nothing. Guys, really? I mean, there was nothing. Like, there was like zero. I mean, there wasn't even a hint of tick. I'm going to start it again. I know it's already started now, so the oil's been pumped up a little bit, but still. Wow. That couldn't sound any better. You know what this means? I have to back I have to back the car out the garage now because I'm just about to bring some ladders in to get up into my rafters. Um so I need to take the car out. But then it's gonna come back in and it's not gonna go anywhere. It's not gonna go anywhere um today. So it'll be stuck in the garage all day and all night, and then we'll come down tomorrow and see. Jesus. Is is he the real Dr. Schnappenhauser? <laughs> I don't even know what that means. Guys, there was no tick. What can I say? What can I say? There you go. I get tick. Like, I, I would say one time out of every 20 starts, it won't tick in the morning. But even, but even that, that sounded different to me. That sounded like like there was really nothing. You know, sometimes you hear like some some faint ticking, and then it, it kind of goes away as the engine warms up. That was that was nothing. There was nothing there. I'll tell you what. And I I said this to myself from the beginning. If this works, this guy's got himself another subscriber. And the fact that I've linked him in the video description, um, if anyone else is interested in what he's talking about, maybe you'd want to link to him too. But let's see what happens tomorrow. I I would have put money on the fact that this was about to tick. I would have put I would have put money on it. I would have put twenty quid down and said, "It's not going to change anything. The lifters are going to tick." For sure, for sure. I would have put money on it definitely, and I would have been very confident of winning that twenty pounds back plus the winnings. I would have just lost that money, guys. Yeah. Let's see tomorrow.
All right, so I just started the car for the third time to get it out of the garage and I did hear the lifter tick, but it was like less than half a second. It just went tick, tick, and went away. So I think it's trying to come back, but that was on the third start, which is weird. Um, yeah, leads me to think maybe it's going to come back in a few days or maybe a week or two weeks. But I don't mind running that three minute, two minute, three, 3000 revolution test again. Do it twice. Um, just in case it needs a little bit more persuasion. I can't do it here with the neighbours. I mean, I don't want to sit on 3000 revs with this thing. Especially on a cold engine, I'd want it warmed up. But let's see what tomorrow brings. Welcome to day two and it is just gone 10 o'clock in the morning so let's get the garage open oh i think it was open hold on i guess i didn't lock it last night <laughs> that's the first time that's ever happened I just need to get the alarm turned off guys one second otherwise it's going to be yeah otherwise I would be it would be a very piercing sound and I would want to run out okay so she's been stirred admittedly the weather is a bit warmer these days but it hasn't stopped her ticking in the past. So let's just do a quick cold start then and see if the ticking is still gone. Again, I was wrong yesterday, but as you know in the video, I started her twice and it was fine. Then I stopped the video and then I, I started the car and rolled her out the drive, um, but I did hear it tick but it was just very briefly at the beginning. As soon as the car started, it went tick, tick, and then it was gone. So it was just a couple of ticks and that was it. If it doesn't do it today, well, it's a good sign, I suppose. Now, as I said, I'm quite prepared to do the 3000 rev for two minute um, procedure again. Anyway, let's crank it. For the second day running, I'm prepared to be wrong, and I'm going to say that the ticking has returned as normal. I said that yesterday, I was completely wrong. I'm just very skeptical, guys, that's all. Here we go. There you go. You heard it. It's there. It wasn't for long, but it was there. I told you. Sometimes it does start without making that noise. I told you. Now it wasn't there for long, but I've had it like that before. Let's do another start. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't expect it. I wouldn't expect it to happen on the second start really because it's the lifters have already been moved um so i think we're going to be due for an, uh, an oil change soon and i'm going to use those liquids in those tins we'll do a video on that and then um, i might not use the oil supplement though but i'm going to use the flush and then although i don't know we'll we'll try them all i think we'll try them all because uh, the oil doesn't stay in this car for long anyway, I do change it at quite regular intervals. Um, it's the, the ticking is certainly better than it was before, from what I can gather. It seems to be better. It's not ticking as much. Um, but yes, so I have these three liquids, as you know, I've done these before. This one's for the for the fuel, um, and then we have this one, which we use to pour into the current oil and then run run the car for 
uh, I think 10 minutes is it, or 1200 revs, it tells you on the instructions in the label. Um, and that, you know, to flush it, it's good for GDI engines as well. And then we have uh, this one, which uh, goes in with the next oil change, and the new oil. So, um, we'll do that as well when we do the oil change. Uh, it's only been slightly over 3,000 miles since the car had its previous oil change, so it's not a lot. But I've got the oil and I've got everything, uh, I've got the filter and everything ready to go. So we can do that at some stage. Um, and then we'll, once the new oil's in, then we'll do the uh, 3,000 rev test again. Then we'll see if we can shift this thing once and for all. If not, then we have to go through the expense of the hydraulic lifter. So I'm just going to uh, lock the car and that should roll the window up. And yeah, so while it improved, it was, it's not the miracle cure it was claimed to be because it would have fixed mine. <laughs> all right, make of all this what you will, guys. Um, I'll keep you posted on, you know, the next time I start the car and how it goes and what and whatnot. Uh, I'll keep you posted in future videos about what's been going on with it. Alright, thanks for watching anyway and I'll catch you on the next one.